Oh, hey, neighbor. It's me, Angie. Come on in. It's time for our neighborhood chat. I know. It's time for the video. You know, our weekly subject of whatever we want to talk about. You know, we meet at my house. This isn't a, this isn't a live. This is a taped video. And we meet up and we talk about a subject. You know, you come in, you just get your something to drink, a snack. And boy, has it been cold here lately. So I know you'll be bundled up, but come on in. I'm in the back of the house again today. I know. I can't wait to get my YouTube room uh, fixed up so I can just tape in there all the time. I hope that gets done this year. I have to wait on people that have legs because I, I can't stand up and walk around. And every time I go in there, I think, okay, I want this done, that done. And... I just have to walk away from it because I have to wait on people. But that's okay. It it causes me to have more patience. And patience is good. Um, As you can see, I didn't wear a headband today. Don't ask me why. I just wanted to do something different. I do go without headbands sometimes. I have in previous videos, if you've watched the earlier videos... Um, I haven't always wore my hair back in headbands. Um, but today, after you get your drink and your snack, come on back here and let's have a little talk. And we're going to talk about bullying. You know, this has just been weighing so heavy on me the last week or so. I guess after I got the news about... Uh, you know, I spoke about a friend of mine, her son passed away uh, the end of December, and they buried him the 1st of 2024. He wasn't, but I think he may have been 30. He was a few years younger than, than Matt. He had two children, two little girls. I don't know if he had an ex-wife or a wife. I don't know how that all went. That's not my story. I don't know. I just thought it was sad. Well, a week or so later on social media, on my social media, because it happened in my town and I'm friends with some of their friends, it came out that the mama of these two children, the ex-wife or wife, the, her mother found her deceased in the bed one morning when she went in there. Now, I don't know the whole story behind that. I don't know if it was um, she took her own life. I don't even really know how he passed away. You know how rumors go around, so I don't really know. I don't want to speculate. Like I said, it's not my story to tell. What I Why I'm telling you this is because it's so sad that now these two small children do not have parents I think one of the little kids may be kindergarten and the other one may be second grade. I'm not really sure. Their whole world has turned upside down. But the point I'm trying to make is the mother of the lady that found her daughter deceased uh, started talking on social media about how people had been bullying her daughter on social media about either her marriage or um, after her husband had passed away, they were trying to blame her or say things negative in her way. I don't really know. But anyway, her mother was kind of insinuating that the, the girl did something to herself because of being bullied on social media. If that is true, I don't want to have to answer for that. And anybody that bullies other people on social media you, and have to answer for it one day, because you will, uh, I would not want to be in your shoes. I don't really understand why people have to bully other people to live. I, I've never understood that, never will understand it. You know, a person that bullies usually is a very weak person. I found that out to be true, and 
over the years that I've lived, that someone that bullies someone else is really the weak weak link. Um, they try to make a person feel, uh, they try to intimidate a person, make them feel vulnerable, um, make them feel less than, and they usually pick on the weak. But, you know, by doing that, you never know what the one thing you may say is going to cause a person to just go over the edge and end their life. You you never know. That's why we should be kind to each other. Um, You could say one positive word and it can bring them back to uh, starting their life all over again and living. And why wouldn't we want that? Why wouldn't we want someone to succeed and be successful? I don't know. I, I love to see people succeed and be successful and have things and find love and have people love them. A lot of people can't stand it when someone is living their best life and they have people surrounding them that love them they have a good job. They have a good family. A lot of people can't stand that. I don't know why, but they can. But I know with bullying that I see it so much on YouTube. And we're talking about adult people. We're not talking about children. Now, I have to tell you in my mind that bullying is a learned thing. It's taught. For instance, Berkeley, who y'all know is my grandbaby, uh, she turned three in December, and she's been going to uh, daycare, and now she's in like a little preschool or whatever. Now, here recently, since she's come to visit us, she will say, oh, you can't come to my house anymore if she wants to, if she wants something and we don't give it to her. Oh, well, you can't come to my house anymore. Well, somebody at school must be telling her if she doesn't do what they want her to do, oh, you're not invited to my house anymore. So she's picked that up. So it's a learned thing. Now, Berkeley does not learn that at her house. That's not taught. I know that for a fact. So she's picking this up at school that some little child said, um, you can't come to my house if you don't do this, this, and this. So I mentioned it to my son. Look, somebody at school is doing this to her and he said yeah i know we're 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 getting that under control and i said okay but what i want to tell you you start at a young age and with children they absorb everything you say everything you do that's why you have to be very careful how you act and what you say around the child because they're like sponges they just absorb it then they grow up to be Adults that bully other people or teenagers or, or whatever that bully. And they think it's the right behavior. And then you have some people that are just mean. You know, we talked about that on my live the other, uh, the other day. That there are just people out there that are just mean-spirited. Uh, they have a personality disorder or they just choose to do that. I can't wake up in the morning and just decide that I'm going to be mean to somebody. Some people's brain works that way, or we wouldn't have all these cruel things happening in the world today. Now, have I said ugly things to people that I wish I could take back? Of course I have. Have I been ugly to my uh, husband? Have I been ugly to James? Yes. Yes, because I wanted him to hurt because he had hurt me. Uh, have I said things to my children uh, that I wished I had never said? I hope not. You know, I had a aunt that would call her, her, her one of her children stupid, retarded, um, dumb. You know, I can't imagine someone that they gave birth to or me giving birth to a child and calling them stupid and retarded and dumb. I mean, this is just a learned thing. Now, you can overcome it. Now, you think you can't, but you've got to want to overcome your behavior. You know, we had a question brought up in Ella, mine and Ella's Keeping It Real chat last time we had our live, and it said, why does bad things happen to good people? 
And Ellen and I both had an opinion about it. We said, you know, this is just our opinion. You can have an opinion that you want. But then I got to thinking along the lines of, why does bad things happen to good people? Well, you know, we all have a tendency to be a level of, of bad. You know, we wake up in a grumpy mood. Um, we may lash out at our family members, our children, our parent, our, you know, just lash out. Now, that's one thing. But just continually, every day, seeking people to be mad and mean to is, is horrible. I can't even imagine the person that lives that way. I mean, some people really get enjoyment out of it. But I can't see how it can last. But I'm coming on here to tell you, don't bully people. I mean, try to understand that whatever goes around comes around. There's always someone bigger than you that's going to come around and knock you on your feet one day. Knock you off your feet one day. And you're going to know what it feels like to be bullied. And you say, oh, no, that can never happen to me. Okay. Would you want to pay for it in this life or would you want to pay for it in the next life? Because one way or the other, no matter what you dish out, you're going to, you're going to pay for it. You may not believe that or not, but you are. You know, and some people can come like a light. They look all beautiful and pretty. And you would think they would never bully or they would never be mean. And yet they are. So don't think because they come as saying these beautiful, elegant words that they're not capable of bullying. Because it happens. Uh, you have these people that love... Uh, the dramatic side of YouTube, and they want to be drama channels, more power to them. I'm fine with that. I don't want to be a part of it. Uh, they want to come on there every day and find a channel of a person that's weaker than they are and make fun of that channel or just give their opinion about that channel. And for some reason, everybody has an opinion about everything. And I say this. Okay, you have an opinion. Don't mean you have to say it out loud. I have a lot of opinions about a lot of things, but I don't say it. Uh, not on YouTube anyway. There's channels that I don't like, but I'm never going to mention them here on YouTube because it's not necessary. Because I can easily go out of that channel and never watch it again. Am I going to leave a thumbs down or a negative comment? No. What's the point? There's no point in that. It's just, it's just silly. When you can be using your time and the rest of your life to learn more about how, how to better yourself, how to take care of yourself, how to be a better person, how to give to others, how to love others, than to go around on YouTube trying to prove somebody wrong or right. Now, if somebody attacks you, I fully believe that you have a right to defend yourself and come on and give your side of the story. And some people are relentless. They just keep on and on. But I'm here to tell you, good people are whatever good is, um, get hurt because... Other people have a will. You know, we've been given a will. That means we can choose between right and wrong. And a lot of times, people that seem to be trying to live the correct life, I don't know if that constitutes good, uh, get caught up in the crossfires of the people that want to do wrong. Now, a lot of times... You could say, well, I don't understand why God allows uh, people to suffer or little children to, to suffer. Well, we live in a sinful world. That all started with Adam and Eve. And after that, it's gone downhill. 
And we're never going to be able to change that. Only in my Christian faith is it going to change when, you know, the Lord comes back and he gets us and we live in a different world. But we as Christians can live a better life when we accept uh, our faith in Jesus. Uh, that doesn't mean we're perfect. It doesn't mean that we're going to do everything correctly. It doesn't mean we're not going to falter and do wrong. But it does mean that we wake up every day not intentionally wanting to go out and hurt someone and do evil and gossip and cause trouble. Um, gossip can be so, so destructive. Especially when you're talking about something that you have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, you must live a life that is not very interesting if you have to gossip about somebody else's life when you don't even really know the story. Oh, I feel like, and I've said this before, a lot, everybody else has their story and it's not mine to tell. It's not yours to tell either. Start telling your story. Uh, if you really want to change, you can, but some people get caught up in the uh, bullying and the drama and the gossip that they just feed off that. They just love it. And some people want bigger channels, more views. And it's sad to say that channels grow when you have drama. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. But, I mean, it shouldn't be that way. Channels shouldn't grow larger because of the drama. But they do. And I would just say, stay far, far away from the drama. Don't get involved in it. Pray about it, but don't get involved in it. Don't take sides. Don't do that. Because therefore, you are involved in it. Make sure you watch people. Just because ooey gooey comes out of their mouth, that does not mean that they're all nice and kind and wonderful. No, you'll be able to detect whether this person is being sincere or not. And if you get that red flag inside you that says there's something wrong with this person, you need to stay away from them. No matter what everybody else is is doing with that person or they think the person is great and grand and wonderful, if you get this weird feeling around them, that's a sign that says stay away. Because that inner voice that you have inside you is never going to lie. It's never going to mislead you. That's why you should always listen to it. No matter how somebody looks on the outside, they look like they have it all together, they're nice, they're sweet, and everybody else seems to love them. But you have this little thing inside you that says, mm -mm, something's not right then if I were you, I would stay away from them. But if you get enjoyment out of drama, bullying, gossip, being unkind to someone, trying to make someone feel less than, or pretending you like someone when you don't, you need to check yourself and just try, try to reevaluate where you're going in life. Because you're not going anywhere. You're spinning around in circles. Remember, love conquers all. Kindness. Peace. There's nothing like having peace in your life. You know, these people that go around stirring up drama and, and gossip and uh, bullying, and they want to know why they don't ever have any peace in their life. How in the world can you have peace in your life when you're running around trying to cause negative things to happen. Negative breeds negativity. Okay? Positivity brings positive things. But I'm here to tell you, neighbor, people will take their life, and I would hate to know that I was the reason that someone would take their life because of something I did or said to them. I mean, if you can live with that, that's you, but I can't. So be careful what comes out of here. Be careful how you treat someone. 
you don't want to be around them, don't be around them. You don't have to be, especially on YouTube. You can click right out of that channel and not have to do anything with them. If they come into a live chat that you're in, you don't have to even acknowledge that they're there. You don't even have to notice that they're there. But don't be ugly. Try to be kind and try to mend things that are that have gone wrong. Not to the point where you and that person can have the same relationship and the same friendship, but just mend it enough that you can speak to each other or just be in the same room with each other. Life's too short. It's too short. But I just wanted to bring this to you all today about bullying, gossip, drama. Seems like I'm having to repeat this over and over again because it's just more and more coming out lately. I don't really understand it. But anyway, neighbor, you know I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Thanks for dropping by today. Like, share, comment. You know I love your comments. And I'll be going live with Josie tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Pacific Time, Josie's place. She has the thumbnail up. And then Sunday, I'll be going live with uh, Save Here First, Ella, with our Keeping It Real conversation. Then I'll be going live with my neighborhood chat on Tuesday after the week starts all over again. Bye, neighbor. <laughs>